Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Rowan Winter, and we're playing Horizon Zero Dawn. So, where we left off last time, we did the Row Cauldron down in the southeast section. Where'd it go? I lost it. That's... Right here. Right where my mouse is. Um, next, we're going to do... I think today we're going to do the Armory Quest, because we got another one of the... Yep, Ancient Armory. We got another one of the uh, Power Cells, so we're going to go and turn that in. And I don't know if that's enough. I could have sworn I remember there were supposed to be three of those Power Cells, but maybe two. We'll see. So we're going to go and fast travel over there. Right there. That should be good. After we're done with this, we're going to go and help Arend. Ooh, a red flower. than we did last time, jumping all the way down there and hurting my feet. Fifteen hundred, eighteen hundred, twenty-one hundred. Twelve o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock. Maybe I can turn these. Twelve o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, and zero hundred. There's five of them, so okay, I think I figured it out. You can turn them. Three Maybe o'clock. there's some more information nearby. Something that will tell Six me how this o'clock. works. Looks like each dial has four positions. Yeah, yeah this is this has to be each dial in the right position. Did it. Now to check the door. Ha! <laughs> Military time, baby. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps.
He wanted it fast, cheap, and good, and that's what we're going to deliver by using a flexible nanofiber weave instead of plating and enhancing protection with a 400 EV hard light micro projector. Whatever that means. We've reduced our testing cycle from weeks to days, and I'm confident we can get the suit out by next month. <sighs> with enough production to cover dozens of elite units, at least. Better yet, we'll be half the weight, half the cost, and offer twice the mobility. All we'll need is the balance of our funding and a few more techs and another experienced test subject. I know resources are stretched to the breaking point, but with any more delays will jeopardize the schedule. So please advise ASAP. May God be with you and Jane in these dark times. Semper Fi. It's Marina. Hence the military time. Can we get over here? Just need to install these power cells. That should do it. So four power cells then. future techie three power three more power cells so there's actually three more wow okay so five total power cells well, we got a little ways to go better be some good armor Uh, we've got decent armor ourselves. We just have to switch it up a lot. You know, for certain situations and all that. Alright, let's go to Arend next. There's the main quest into the borderlands. Meet Arend at the Palace of the Sun. Right, let's go back to Meridian. about his sister. His sister may be alive. Even and it's possible that her murder was staged. I'm gonna guess she's in on it somehow, but I don't know. Maybe not. If you're interested in reading that. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Blameless? 
You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. <laughs> First, the Oseram gets special treatment, and now Outlander gets inside the Sun King having heard. Passed by some Outlander woman? Unacceptable. I've been here two hours, and this north goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like, his father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. That's what everybody keeps saying. Aloy of the Nora, she who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseram. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad, let me discuss. Like she likes him. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. Damn. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. The killers who attacked the Nora. I've discovered that they're a faction of Shadow Karja, called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient weapons. Machines that corrupt and control other machines. They want to use them to strike Meridian. 
What you're saying echoes reports I've received from Murad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will this attack come, do you know? I'm not exactly sure. Then we will do what we can to prepare. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please, help me find her. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. Feathers of a glint hawks. <laughs> glint hawks don't have feathers. Pitch cliff. Where is oh here he is. Here's Aaron. So I thought Ursa was dead. And I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. <laughs> sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dumbbag. 
Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. <laughs> okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her. <laughs> and kicking Durval's ass. Fair. I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. Aloy, how can I be of service? It's obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. You were right about Avad. He seems genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him to his enemies. It was the best I could do for the Sundom. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. Okay, he's a little bit on the creepy side. Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. <laughs> so they say. Blameless would be he has no blame for turning on the previous Sun King, maybe? What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Osaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osirum are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described. Who hate Ursa, so... I forgot about the weapon. More than one? Not likely. Durval? Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. I have to go. Then you must. A little weird. He might be... He might be a bad guy. Then again, spy masters are supposed to be weird. That's basically what he is, looks like. How about we at least run to Meridian Gate just to make sure there's no quests that pop up along the way? Look at the pitch cliff. I like how they all stand at detention as I run by. <laughs> they don't do that for any of the other citizens that are walking back. Uh, walking back and forth. No, I'm away. And alert. our merchant here. Let's see uh, if we can sell anything real quick. I'll pause meanwhile. Okay. Alright, let's see. Where is Pitchcliff? Way, way up north. But we have some things in the way. Okay. Including the Corrupted Zone, a behemoth convoy. It's like a Ravager rounds Let's 
Sorry, it looked like a little town in that cubby. But let's go in there and see if there's any quests for us. I do want to make sure that we don't uh, pass up any opportunities. Uh, side quests and the like. Oh, we were here earlier. This is where... I think this is where we helped, uh, Osin, maybe? Alright, we're pretty close to this area up here. We might as well get one of these mounts while we're at it. zone coming up. I mean to miss the... Oh, wow. zone here on our right. I'm do that all the way as well. Let's go and get our uh, fire going here. I'm curious what the what's corrupted up here. I see it. We're 
can just do it. Oh, corrupted rock breakers. All right. Yeah, it's been a little while since we did those. Might as well uh, check up on our notes here. Weak against freeze, strong against fire. Knock off their arms. Knock off their... Okay. Shoot their exhaust ports. Shoot their fuel sacks. Can probably tie them down, but I don't remember how effective it is. Breakers are kind of tough. Two of them is bad. Luckily, we're close. Seems like a bad idea. Oh gosh, these guys are rough. Maybe we can't quite handle this one yet. Ugh. If only there was a way to like tie one down.
All right, let's give it one more go. Okay, yeah, let's not do this one yet. This one seems like it's uh, nearly impossible right now. All right, continuing on. Sorry for the waste of time. <laughs> I mean, I guess it wasn't a complete waste of time. We did learn something. We learned that these guys are a little too tough right now. Damn. <laughs> you guys see that? <laughs> Sorry. Look at my mount. My poor mount. He's frozen. I repaired him. Soon enough. Well, I'm actually kind of uh, hungry. Those are 
this tramp gonna not be in this. He's coming, slowly but assuredly. bit of automation going on. So the Osram are kind of like the tinkers of this generation. The engineers. Although they've uh, definitely taken every resource in this area. See what these Osram are all about. This must be pitch close. Marad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. The longer we stay here, the more it'll feel like home. Here's what I don't get about the sundown. These fancy decorations everywhere. Sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Don't go anywhere. his uh, free sample box too. One second, guys. My uh, profile on my Razor thing has changed. Give me just a second. There we go. Sorry about that. This place is pretty cool.
Has to be Murat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. My men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Met a Nora outcast one. <laughs> Few teeth short of a year in that one. up here. Ah, campfire. Well, hello. I bit my lip a couple times and now I can't stop biting my lip like in the same exact spot too it's very annoying what a tiny little trail Take out that uh, sawtooth or whatever that is, Ravager. Are there any others? Just him, right? Back up.
Ah, I just slide him on fire already. I'll kill him the rest of the way. What else? What is that? Our, oh, it's the thing. I would say that we are close enough to an hour where I'm going to stop right here and we'll pick up uh, where we left uh, where we left off on the next video. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good night.